Hi, I'm teacher Edgar and today we're going to be working on intentional teaching card M81. The objective is uses number concepts and operations. Here's what you're going to need. First, get yourself any kind of tub around this size or so and you're going to fill it up with a little bit of water. You can see I didn't fill it all the way up to the top. Then a couple of small containers and you're going to make a note on each one of them. The first one will say the word sink. The second one will say the word float. And the reason is because we're going to be testing whether something sinks or floats. Again, if it sinks or floats. Sometimes I switch over to manual signing because some of the students in my program are not yet ready to get into expressive speech, but I'll give them an alternative, and that would be manual signing. So let's try it. Let's see how it works. I'm going to have my son join us. Emmett, come on over. You can stand right over there. We're gonna try and see if this plastic egg sinks or floats. What do you think is gonna happen? It's gonna float. You think it's gonna float? Yeah. Let's find out. What happened? It floated. it floated, it floats, that's right. So now I've also made a tally chart. And on this tally chart, you're going to mark whether something sinks or floats. Now you can do it, you can have your child do it, whatever you think is best. Now, since I'm here, I'm gonna fill it in with just one slash mark under float. Emmett, do me a favor. Can you put it in the tub where it belongs now? Does it go in the sink tub or the float tub? Float. Okay, you can put it there. Perfect. So now we're sorting as well. Now I'm gonna jump ahead a little bit. Let's say we've finished going through all our household objects. You don't need to buy anything fancy and really just get a variety of things you find in your home. We have a little bouncing rubber ball here. We have a plastic fork, a metal spoon, a wooden pin uh, clip. After you're done, and let's imagine you put your slash marks there, you can practice counting. So Emmett, how many marks do we have under float? One, two. And how many under sink? Three. That's right. One, two, three. So we've met the objective for counting, and we've also gotten into some other areas too. We're developing our language, learning two key words, float and sink. And then we're also working on cognitive development because we're talking about the physical properties of these objects and how they interact in different scenarios. Thanks for watching.